3.5. Back to the Romanians. And again, we're not sure where everybody stands. We know where the Romanians and the Chinese are. The Romanians, if you factored in the pommel horse, they had a very solid lead. Take it out, it was very, very close. So they're, they're in very good shape to win this event. And they would like to drop a 9.15. And he can do it. This vault is out of a 10.0 just to step on the landing. He's European champion on this event because he can run, he can jump, great vaulter. This is a Sukahara with two and a half twists or a Kasamatsu with one and a half. Whatever you want to call it, just not quite enough rotation and that step backwards. Now, wait a minute. I'm confused enough. Is it a Kazumatsu or a Sukahara? <laughs> actually, Which one is it? It's actually a Kazumatsu. But you said Sukahara. Well, they're so similar that uh, most of the time the gymnasts don't even know which one they're doing. He's not even sure. He's reviewing the videotapes. <laughs> all right, now to Jamie Natalie. Jamie's been all over. 885 on the floor, 9525 on the P bars. And this is a place where he can get a big number. Yeah, by far his best event. Starts off right from the beginning. Come on now. Get ready. He'll do this skill and combination right into a release. Done perfect. Looks good so far. Dismount, two flips, two twists. You'd like to stick. Well, you've seen in glimpses here today, one of the reasons why following Jamie Natalie through the process of the Olympic trials was so gut-wrenching. He's got it. And yeah, he's got a lot of heart, that's for sure. I do it again, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> Mr. Nelson obviously knew what he meant. When we come back, it's up to the United States. It'll be all them on the pommel horse. Can they somehow score high enough to pull this out at the Pontiac International Team Championships? The women International Team Championship tomorrow at 2 Eastern here on NBC. Right now, we come down to the finale for the men. Romania right now has the lead over China, and the United States is right there, only five hundredths behind. Here's why we're about to see what we're about to see. David Henderson with the United States on the pommel horse shears it off. People who have spent their lives in gymnastics, like Tim Daggett, say they've never seen anything like it. It came apart like it was made of balsa wood. They scampered across town to another gym, got two replacement pommels, screwed them into place, and now the United States will play out the final rotation. It's all them and they need to score huge to win it. Is that a is that a doable number? Well, it's not doable for this guy right here, but you got to remember you get to drop your lowest score. This is David's weakest event in gymnastics, and this is basically just get through, through this routine, hopefully give the team a little bit of momentum, but it is not going to get a number even close to that. Doesn't mean it's over, though. It just means the next four guys, they've got to hit, and they've got to be big hits, too. The veteran of this team, Jamie Natalie, is not competing on pommel horse after the Olympic trials process and then being the alternate in Sydney, Australia. Tendonitis in his wrist has made it impossible for him to compete here. They could really use him now, though. All right, the Romanians are going over the numbers. They are, as they say, doing the math. And they know they're in good shape, and they know that what the United States has to do is is huge now they've got to throw out that 8.1 they knew that before they even came in though al they knew they wouldn't be counting a score or they knew they better not be well, now we go to todd thornton who was pretty clutch earlier with the pressure on when the same thing happened when yeah. henderson had faltered and he knew that his score would count no matter what and he's nice on this event he's got a good look a good rhythm actually reminds me a lot of yuki tamita why is that elf Long lines, beautifully smooth elements such as these. He just works the pommel horse with such ease. But in, in a lot of ways, it's all going to come down to start value. Does he have enough to bring in the score in a little bit of a form break there? And this routine is not... I don't think it's going to get the job done. It looks 
Looks like it's gonna be 9-4, maybe 9-5 start value. And again, the start value is the total number of elements and the point values that they accumulate and what Great you could job. get if you executed that routine perfectly. Set, set so Tim says 9495. If he made no mistakes, didn't touch any of the pommels, didn't do anything wrong, he would get that total number. And just sitting here doing the math quick, I'm guessing it's going to be around the 9-0 range. It, it's possible, but almost impossible at this point. And uh, Todd Thornton 9.0. I mean, forget it. I don't know if the United States could be perfect and win. You see, McClure needs a 9.818. That would be, if he somehow was able to pull that out and he had the start value, it would be the highest number of the day. And he can definitely start at a 10.0, but I'll tell you, that's a big number. I don't think we saw that yeah, no in the entire him. Olympic Games on this event. And he's great on horse, as he's showing right here, but... Well, he's had five solid routines for this team. Would like to end this meet on a high note. So weird to see this event come down to one rotation with everyone watching, just the Americans. Ooh, a little touch there. But a very nice routine, and I'll tell you, this guy had the meet, maybe, of his life here. Great competition. Not to wreck the party here, but that is, that's not going to be enough. I think probably if the Americans looked at it, Tim, I mean, you know, we play around with the numbers, but they know a 9-6 on average is, is probably not realistic, right? So well, definitely, especially when they know that they have to do, they only have four guys really to do it with because, as I said, they knew they were going to have to throw David Henderson's score out. He only starts at an 8.9. There's So they're realistic, but what athletes do is they play out the game, and then you let the numbers fall where they may and see where you, where you wind up. That's for sure. If you're a good one, that's the way you do it. Well, Brett McClure came awfully close to the number that the United States needed at the beginning to average, a 9.575. Jamie Natalie not in this rotation, just watching it. And we come down to guard young. And the Romanians have that, that look of satisfaction. I mean, if you're going to make that trip all the way from Romania to the United States, you might as well win. They definitely are the most experienced team. Many of the members competed just a few months ago in Sydney, Australia on their Olympic team. And not only that, they all train together at the National Training Center. You have to remember that with the U.S. squad, they're from different parts of the country. This is an opportunity for them to start building on the future, an important team event. They'll be seeing each other down the road again in these situations. One of the best routines I've seen Guard Young do it's going to start at a 10.0, but that right there alone will make it impossible. But I tell you what you're seeing here is you're seeing some of the veterans that were right on the bubble that didn't quite make it to Sydney, Australia. A couple of them, I'd venture to guess, will stick around, and you got some young guys who really answered the call when they were needed. And they competed with a lot of togetherness and enthusiasm, but clearly the experience of the Romanians was not to be beaten here today. 9.5 for Guard Young, and that makes it official. The United States is not going to win the international team championships, and the Romanians came here and put up the numbers. So here in this competition, we had Romania 225.075. They win by over a half a point and beat China by 1.2. Oh, that pommel horse, how it changed things and how this event was played out. But we saw the majesty of Marian Dragulescu on the floor. Is Brett McClure someone who sticks around for the Worlds next year or Athens? He had the form today to show everyone that he should. And the Romanians, yes, they will fly home aboard a plane, talking about how they were the best of the three teams here in Syracuse, New York.
And certainly the sight of the pommel horse getting sheared in half, one of the odd memories of this event. With Beth Ruyak, Tim Daggett, and Elfie Schlegel, I'm Al Troutwick. Thanks for joining us from Syracuse, New York. We'll see you tomorrow with the women at 2 Eastern time.